everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you guys want to see how I got this look, then definitely keep on watching. Today's video is completely PR related, so it's me first impressioning every single product that I got PR sent to me to try out. So if you guys want to see how I achieved this look with free products, then definitely keep on watching. And of course, if you are wondering, I have my O lens Russian velvet lenses in blue in today to make my eyes blue. All right, my loves. So to start off this look, unfortunately, I don't have any PR foundations. So I just used my own. I used the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Foundation in color number two, which is too light for me. So I did try to mix it with my Kate Powderless Liquid Recover Foundation in color number OCD. This kind of balanced it out a bit, but it is still a little bit too light for me, as you can probably see in this video. So I'm just gonna go ahead and contour now. And fortunately for my contour, I do have something here that I can use that I'm really excited about. And this is an Australian brand. It is the Garbo and Kelly Millennial Girl Cream Contour Kit in light medium. Ooh, I'm so excited, you guys. So this is what it looks like right, oh. No! <laughs> I can't believe that happened. It just slipped. Well, there's my first swatch for you guys. Wow, okay. Failing already. This tutorial is starting off great, you guys. No, I ruined it. It was so pretty before. But this kit is really interesting looking. Like, look, it has the color correcting section there, which I really like. But um, today, I'm going to use this to contour, and I think I'm going to use the shade... Lucille, I think that's how you pronounce it, which I already messed up with my thumb because I slipped. But I see it also has highlighting shades as well, but I'm not going to use those today. I'm just going to use the contour color because I don't need highlighter since I already did my concealer and my foundation. Yeah, so that's why I look ghostly white, you guys. And I didn't show that on camera just because it is, you know, PR video using only PR products. So I skipped that step. So for this light contour shade here, I'm going to use my favorite contouring cream brush, which is my Etude House brush from the Any Cushion launch. So I'm just going to pick up that color. So I always like to start on the jawline. Oh my god, this is so pigmented. <gasps> no, I think I grabbed too much. Holy. So. <laughs> Whoa, okay, so obviously a little goes a long way. I'm gonna wipe off the excess on the back of my hand because I really don't want to use that much contour. <gasps> ah, so intense. I'm loving the shade, but I feel like I literally just drew on sideburns. So right off the bat, I this is like a really thick, dense cream, but it blends seamlessly, which I like. But wow, like be really careful with it because I basically put a beard on myself. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm just drawing on my five o'clock shadow here. Holy color is beautiful, though. Oh, it actually blends really, like, well. Like, it kind of is disappearing well. I'm just pulling it all the way down my neck to help blend that color. Like, I feel like I gave myself a bit of a tan. But it looks good! <gasps> I'm impressed, you guys! It was really scary at first, but now it's like, it looks good. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna use that same color and I'm gonna do my nose contour. And just taking this really thin shadow brush, I'm just gonna pick up a little bit. I'm gonna try to pick up a little bit of the color and kind of blot it on the back of my hand so it's not too intense. And I'm gonna do my usual nose contour. And that's usually how I do my lines for my nose. Then I'm just gonna go in and blend that just because it's a little harsher than I would like it to be. So this is just the PR Beauty Blender that I got from EcoTools event here in Melbourne. Not bad, wow. And I think I'm gonna go in and try the Banana Highlighting Cream Shade with this Synthetic Concealer Brush. And I'm gonna use that and just kind of highlight the sides of my nose. 
I feel like though for nose contouring, this might take a while to actually like get used to using. I don't know if I'd keep using it for my nose contour, like I might keep using my usual products, but overall it's not bad, but definitely it will take like a bit of working around to get used to. So, so far for the Garbo and Kelly contour cream kit, I'm actually really loving it. Like it was really scary at first, but it blended out quite nicely. So definitely approved in my books so far. I haven't tried out all the colors, but just for those two, like I'm already sold. Like it looks really natural, like in person. I don't know about on camera, I can't really see the viewfinder, but in person it looks really natural, glowy, blended seamlessly. It's not patchy anywhere. And um, nothing I can say negative about it other than definitely intimidating at first, but once it blends out, like it's it looks seamless. Next for cream, like I'm gonna stick with cream, products first and I'm gonna go ahead and try out a blush and this is the Char this is the Charlotte Tilbury Moon Beach and it's a stick blusher. Just looks like this. So it's a really nice kind of a peachy nude shade, like a peach beige. And it's a shimmery kind of blush. So let's go ahead and swatch that on the cheeks and see oh my hair is always sticking Ooh, it's really natural so this stick is supposed to be good for like lips and cheeks but i'm only going to use it on my cheeks because i know already this will look terrible on my lips i really like it it's not as pigmented as i thought it was going to be so that's kind of a letdown but it's also like really easy to apply like with the contour kit it was really shocking at first but this is like totally different it's really natural already and for this i'm just going to go ahead and use the clean side of my beauty blender and kind of like buff that around oh my gosh wow <gasps> that blends so beautifully mm, not bad now i don't have any setting powders that i got in pr so i'm going to use one of my own real quick and just dust that over my face i'm just going to go ahead and use my chicot professional setting powder that i got in japan by the means of PR for highlighter, I have the BYS Highlighting Trio. Oh, that was difficult to open. And it just looks like this right here. So it looks like a really kind of, like it wants to be a strobing style of highlight. So let's try it out and see how good it actually works. And I'm just gonna use the fan brush that came in the PR package. This is the first time I'm using a fan brush in a long time. I'm not really a fan of them to be honest, but hmm. Because I'm really pale, I think I am going to pick up the lightest shade there and just get that on this brush. I feel like this brush is going to shed all over my face. It doesn't really look like it's picking up much, to be honest. So let's see how this goes. What was that? <laughs> Where did the color go? Okay, let's try that again. Round two. All right, was there anything happening? <laughs> no, what is this? Okay, you guys, maybe it's the brush. Let's try a different one. So here I'm gonna use my large flat sh face brush. And this is what I usually use for my highlighter lately. So I'm just gonna pick up that same color, the lightest shade from the palette. And, and it looks like there's a decent amount on the brush. Let's. That's more like it. There we go. There's that glow I wanted to see. So it's not as intense as I would have thought it would have been, but like my camera is registering that area is overexposed. So that tells me my glow is coming through. Looks not so much glow. It kind of has a powdery look to it, but overall like pretty good for an affordable highlighter because the BYS brand is a really affordable range plus it officially got approved by PETA as cruelty free um so if you're into cruelty free makeup this is that's affordable this definitely is one you can check out so i'm just going to go in and use do my same highlighting method so just kind of that top part of the nose okay so before we move on to the eyes i'm gonna do the eyebrows and here i have the garbo and kelly um brow powder in brunette that's just what it looks like there it actually looks like a really good color for my hair color right now especially 
like all of them. There's nothing I can really say that's negative about that. So I'm just gonna pick that up with my current favorite eyebrow brush, which is literally the Royal Lang Nickel MSGE quarter brush from Michaels. <laughs> I know it's not actually a makeup brush, it's a paint brush, but girl, like this works well. And I'm just gonna pick up the darker shade there. And I'm just going to do my usual where I draw the hairs on. So starting at the bottom and flicking up to create the lines. Wow, it does a really good job. I'm impressed. All right, so this is what my brow looks like before blending it out. And I must say, I'm actually really impressed with this brow powder. It has like zero fallout. Every time I pick it up, it doesn't dust everywhere or like get a bunch of crumbs lifting up on it, if you know what I mean. And the color payoff is really good and it, I feel like it matches my root color like perfectly. So definitely, I think this is a plus. I just have to see like how it blends out. And then I think this is approved in my books. So I'm just gonna go in with this spoolie brush right here and just lightly buff that out, especially the front area here where I drew on the hairlines. Hmm, not bad, definitely approved. That's nice. I might actually like be using this from now on you guys. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do my other eyebrow and I'll check back in. All right, you guys, so my other eyebrow is done and I gotta say like, it looks great. It's not too orange, which I feel can happen with a lot of different brow powders. Like they just come off, like they look great in packaging, but then as soon as you put it on your skin, it's like this orangey shade. But I feel like this brand, the Garbo and Kelly brow powder in Burnett definitely pulls it off. It doesn't look super orangey. It matches my root color pretty well. It's ashy, but not too ashy. And it looks really like seamless. All right, so I'm gonna finish off my eyebrows and today I'm gonna be trying out the Garbo and Kelly uh, Cruelty Free Brow Gel in clear. Oh, it's cruelty free, that's so nice. Okay, let's give this a shot. So it's got a big wand, let's try it out. So I like to start off by like going backwards against the front of my hair to get a lot of product on there and then kind of pull it up. Mm, okay, ooh. I like that it's a cruelty-free brand too. That's always good. I feel like Australia is super pro cruelty-free, just like North America. Oh, this seems to be doing like really well. It feels really wet though, I can say that. It looks pretty good. Like I don't feel like it's going above and beyond to really keep my brows in place. Like these ones are falling flat again. So I feel like a brow wax would probably give me more so the feeling and texture and hold that I want but I mean, this definitely does good to accentuate the hairs. So I feel like the hairs definitely look more accentuated, which I like. So not too sure if this is like a groundbreaking brow gel, but I really like it. And I love the fact that it's cruelty free and it doesn't feel too heavy on my brows, but overall it's not really like shockingly amazing or holding them to an extreme. Like I keep feeling the need to like play around with it, but overall, like I really, like the look it's giving to my brows. All right, so um, my face and brows are ready to go. It's time to move on to the eyes. So let's take a gander at what we have for eye products. This is like entirely a Australian cosmetic like tutorial, first impression tutorial. I'm really excited about it. So I have here the BYS shadow primer and I feel like it only comes in one color. Um, it looks like just a nude squeeze out tube. Picking up a little bit of that on this Eco Tools airbrush concealer brush. I'm just gonna wipe that over my lid. Ooh. Don't really feel like it's adding any color. Feels kind of like similar to a face primer, you know, like the silicone ones. So not too sure if I'll like this. I generally don't like eye primers, especially if they have a silicone texture to them. I think they're just not really for me. And I feel like it's pulling around my eyeshadow. Well, not my eyeshadow, but the foundation that I already used. As, yeah, mm, no, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. Ooh, I think I'm just gonna go in and try to fix that with my finger. Ugh, it has a baby powder smell to it. Yeah, it's oily. It smells like baby powder. It feels kind of weird on my eyes. Like it kind of feels like there's a tingling, burning effect. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. All right, you guys, if you have sensitive skin, probably pass on the BYS eyeshadow primer. 
Just saying, they are cruelty free, but that doesn't mean they're always good for sensitive skin. I think my skincare and my foundation are way better. I have two products I really want to use on my eyes today. The first one is the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize uh, in Jean. And it's a cream eyeshadow that is really beautiful looking. It's just this really nice gold cream eyeshadow. So I want to use that today. And then I also want to go in and use, <laughs> start that whole thing, take a sip. I also want to go in and use the BYS eyeshadow palette Berries. Because it's just, it's just stunning. Absol absolutely stunning. <laughs> Look at that. Mm, I'm gonna go with a really warm toned halo eye today, I think. So let's just hop in and give that a shot. The first color I'm gonna take is the shade Majestic from the palette. And it's just this nice orange tone here. Actually, no, let's go in with this color right here. It is Royalty. Is that the one? Yeah, Royalty. Oh my God, the mirror in this kit is so bad. Oh no, it's like warped my face and makes it look all wobbly. Oh no. <laughs> need a better mirror. So let's start at the outer corners and just place that color. Ooh, it's pretty nice to be honest. It is going on really seamlessly, but that could be from that eyeshadow primer. Why would people put fragrance in an eye product though? That always blows my mind. Like just don't like people just need to stop putting fragrance and skincare and makeup like point. i mean don't get me wrong it definitely is making the eyeshadow go on really smooth a lot smoother than my eyeshadow usually goes on so i am enjoying that quite a bit okay so i have the base for like the outline for my eyeshadow laid out don't worry it's a little bit messy right now but like we're gonna blend it all out. Next I wanna deepen this eyeshadow color that I just put on. So I think I'm gonna go back into the palette and take the darkest brown shade right here called Shaded. And hopefully that works out. It looks more like a cool brown, but it is the darkest color. So let's try it and see if we can deepen that look. So with this Sigma Pencil E30 brush, I'm just gonna pop that right into the inner parts. Ooh, yeah, it seems to be working pretty nicely. And I'm not gonna pull it out too much. I'm just gonna kind of keep it right in the lines of my eyes. So that outer corner and then right in that crease area. I think I'm gonna take that same color shaded and also pull it along the lower lash line. Connecting it from the outer all the way to the inner. These eyeshadows actually aren't that bad. I'm pretty surprised. Especially with more affordable brands, they usually like, they're not the best, but these aren't bad. Like they're not amazing, but they're pretty good. Like I think it's on par with NYX. You guys ever think sometimes like, hmm, what kind of makeup would I do when I get married? Like there's so many options I never know. Real talks. <laughs> so next I have to go in and do a transition shade to kind of blend all the colors. And I think I'm gonna take the color Toffee right here and on this Eco Tools doo -doo -doo, smudge and blending like duo brush. It's like a two-sided brush. I'm just gonna pick up that color with the blending side. Oh, with the blending side. This color is really like um, fallouty. Like there's a lot of dust coming up off of that. I'm doing a really good job. So although I didn't like the eyeshadow base, I think it's actually really good. It's blending everything really smoothly, but um, I'm actually a little bit concerned that maybe it will give me hives just cause that fragrance. Um, like I don't do well with fragrances on my eye area, so. Okay, so for the middle pop of color, I'm gonna try using the Charlotte Tilbury shade just because it's so pretty, I really wanna try it out. Oh, I just wanna like, oh, it's so like, squishy and puffy on my finger. I love it. Ooh. Ooh, okay, a little goes a long way. I think I'm going to, yeah, okay. Oh man, yeah, a little goes a long way. Uh-oh. So I think I'm just gonna keep that just on the top lid. I'm not gonna put it on the lower lash line. And my legs are completely numb. No, this is the problem with sitting on the floor. Oh, I can't feel my legs. Oh, so definitely with the Charlotte Tilbury, um, 
eyes to mesmerize jean um, color and just the product in general I feel like you definitely only the smallest amount a little goes a long way for sure and oh, I feel like it's gonna crease though cuz I have I have slightly hooded eyes I feel like it's gonna crease god these BYS things are really hard to open Ugh. but anyway I'm gonna take that lightest shade that I used on my face and I'm just gonna pick that up and highlight my brow bone Ooh, pretty. so I'm gonna line my eyes and I haven't done this in a long time I don't normally use eyeliners because it's just not really my style anymore I kind of grew out of it but I'm gonna be using the BYS one day tattoo liquid eyeliner pen in waterproof black I'm gonna try this out today caps pretty oh so it's a felt tip a really thick big felt tip oh no oh no what the, what the hell not a lot of products coming out from the tip and there's no shaker in it oh it's really dry God, I just feel like it keeps getting worse so this doesn't get approved for me I'm really picky when it comes to any type of eyeliner product like an eyeliner product has to be really good for me to like buy it I mean that kind of makes sense for anyone that makes sense for anyone B but like let's be real you guys if it's not gonna like make my life easier when it comes to eyeliner then I'm not gonna use it and I'm not gonna buy it so this one's definitely not approved in my books unfortunately but it is cruelty free brand so that's something you guys can note but no so I'm gonna move on to eyelashes now and for this I have a new one that I get to try it's the BYS triple Lux lashes so I'm gonna try these out today Ooh, these are really pretty lashes are on but they definitely are ones you have to wear with eyeliner because they're so the band is so thick these lashes are like triple layered but they're fabulous they're so fabulous definitely have to make sure you have a really good hardcore glue if you're gonna wear these because they're really heavy the bands really thick so they don't want to stick that easily I'm just gonna go ahead and curl these lat I'm gonna try to curl these oh my god girl I'm gonna try to curl these lashes uh, together with my real ones oh please don't connect Next, I'm just going to apply my mascara because I don't have any PR mascara. So I'm just taking my Flow Fleur Motte Mascara Japanese brand in long black. Oops. No! <laughs> I'm too far away from my mirror. So I have this mascara smudge here. So just a little trick for anyone that might not know this already. You can just wait for it to dry. Then you can just go in and wipe it away with your brush of choice. I'm just going to use my powder brush and kind of work at it to buff it out so next we're gonna move on to lips and for this look I feel like a really nice mauve or a nude shade would look really good just because the eyes are really heavy with the lashes so I'm gonna use one of these new BYS liquid lipsticks the BYS velvet lips liquid lipstick and I have two colors here that I got PR'd to me they are colors number 07 Prima peonies which is the nude shade and then I also have 26 Wicked Plum. What do you guys think? Oh my god, I don't know. Oh, uh, let's go with the nude. Oh, wait, but you guys, let's just be extra. Let's be totally extra. I totally forgot that I have this BYS lip primer. Let's try it out. Oh god, it's just another. Oh no. Mm, no, it's just another one of those. Oh god, it just makes it worse. It's terrible. Oh yeah, and sorry, I have this like pimple right on my lip line. Sorry about that, you guys. I tried my best. Is this supposed to be matte? Like, I'm confused. It's not, it's not as opaque as I would like it to be. I mean, for affordable liquid lipstick, I guess it's all right, but I'm not, like, it's just really streaky. It's really like clumping in areas. <laughs> so I just found out right now as I zoomed out the camera, that this liquid lipstick does set matte but it's really clinging and accentuating the dry patches like it's not a good look i wouldn't i wouldn't recommend <laughs> not feeling this liquid lipstick at all not at all but you know what it's nice and affordable for people that are interested and it is cruelty free so definitely want to check out if you're looking for really affordable liquid lipsticks but personally for me no like hard pass anyway you guys this is the final look using a whole face full of PR first impressions
I hope you guys enjoyed this look and trying all these new products with me. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this type of video. Comment down below if you've tried any of the products that I have used today in this video. And of course, subscribe if you guys want to see more makeup tutorials, product reviews, lifestyle videos, and all that good stuff beauty related. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!